and kicks off. We're underway in the Bronx. Chase Edmonds backpedals into the end zone. He's going to take it out across the far side. Ash rushes right to left across the 20, 25, 30. Gets across the 40-yard line, outrunning everybody. Gets past the kicker at the 40, and he's knocked out of bounds at the 34-yard line of St. Francis. His own 37. Play clock to eight. Gets the ball. Drops back. Under pressure, and he's sacked in the backfield. Pile. The snap back, it's a high snap, put down, the kick is away, it's high enough, and it's good right between the pipes. Fordham gets the first points of the 2014 home opener. Fordham 3, St. Francis 0 with 8.51 to go in the first. Between the hashes on third and goal, getting the ball, Niebrick fakes the handoff, looks right, throws back in the end zone, it's caught! Touchdown, Fordham! Dan Light with the touchdown catch, 9 nothing Rams with the extra point on the way. Niebrick in the gun, fakes to Edmonds, now he gives to Edmonds, runs off the left side, across the 35 to 40, breaks it free in midfield, tries to get by Jerome, at the 30, gets around him, and he's slung down at the 25. Gun second and eight from the 23 of St. Francis, three receiver set, he gets the football and drops back, three-step drop, fakes, throws deep right side for the end zone, Cantelli makes the catch, back pylon, touchdown! The first career touchdown, Robbie Cantelli, the sophomore. And Ward gives in the backfield, B-stick hit Dixon on the spot as he got the handoff at the 31-yard line. It's a loss of about three and a half, and it's now third down. Ward. Ward gets the ball, rolls left, under pressure from Dawson, gets away, and now Hancock gets a hand on him. He's still loose in the backfield, and he's brought down by multiple Rams at the 25. He's sacked on the pass attempt. Maybe going for the home run ball here. Niebrick in the gun. Gets the football. Play action. Drops back. Fakes. Throws deep up the right side. Wetzel wide open at the 25. He makes the catch. He's brought down from behind by Mike Dennis. He does go. They bring four. Dropping back under pressure. He's hit the backfield and he's brought down. Another sack for the Fordham defense. DeAndre Slate was in there. Keep it off the ground and kicks it away. This is a long spiraling punt. Wetzel from his own 45. Catches it. Goes between the hashes. Cuts across the 40. Breaks it free at the 30. Across the 25. 20. Cuts to the far side. Pylon at the 10. 5. And he's brought down inside the 5. For the second consecutive year, Wetzel not able. Inside the 1. Hand off. Piercy up the middle. Runs in untouched for the touchdown. 23 nothing Rams. With the extra point on 28 to go in the second quarter, Fordham has two timeouts. Niebuhr gets the ball, fakes the handoff, launches it deep down the field. Marky Jones open to midfield, makes the catch, and he's brought down at the 37-yard line by Mike Dennis. Fourth and seven from his own 47. It's over his head, bounces back towards his end zone at the 10, and he dives on it, picks it up. He tries to run it to three. Now he's in the end zone. It is a... Well, they're gonna Stop at the four. To either side, he gets the ball, hands off. Edmonds runs up the middle, dives into the hole. He is in for the touchdown. Receiver on either side, he gets the ball, fakes the handoff. Now the end around, around the right side. Jordan Chapman sniffs it out, pulls him down in the backfield at the 30. And the ball is loose, but they say he was down. Ward in the gun. A pair of receivers make it three to the left. Ward back to throw. Fakes the shovel pass, runs right, being ripped out from behind, loses the football, and it's picked up by Fordham at the 23-yard line. He gets the football, and he hands it off. This is Piercy, shifting to his left at the 5, continues to run towards the goal line. He is in for the touchdown. 12 yards for Kendall Piercy, his second touchdown of the game. In 10 from the St. Francis, 35. Niebrick gets the football, play action, drops back, play fake, throws deep up the left side, looking, Wetzel at the goal line! He is in for the touchdown! 35 yards for Brian Wetzel. The ball hands off, Jet to the left, running back into the middle, Chase Edmonds in for the touchdown. It's far away. Yes, thoughts on the game today and uh, what you guys were able to see against uh, St. Francis University that made you all successful? Uh, we were anticipating a very physical um, game. You know, coach. You know, they kind of exhibit the characteristics of Coach Valerio, ex NFL offensive lineman, and the team that prides themselves on the physicality on both sides of the ball. And it was. They came out and they they played hard. And uh, you know, I was most proud of our team for uh, you know with the number of guys we had out in this game and, and guys who were two or three stepping up and playing primary roles. And you know, for us to be able to you know play some solid ball, not spectacular. 
in all three phases. I, I think it showed a lot about the resolve of our team that when adversity hits, you know, we are neither going to give nor accept an excuse and uh, you know, fall back on the things that have made this program successful, and that's a foundation built in concrete and I don't stand. Coach, sorry. Oh, sorry. No, if you guys wanted to share your thoughts about uh, what you were able to see out there that made you both successful. Yeah, we did a great job preparing for St. Francis, and like Coach says, we have to just execute it. And we executed it to the standard and got the W. Yeah, I think, you know, Coach said it all. We, we did a good job today kind of coming out. And with the guys that we had out, I think that we did pretty solid. You know, the twos came in and really played some important roles. So, um, you know, I think it was, a, it was a good overall first win, but we got a lot of stuff to clean up from going over. Chase seemed to set the tone with that kickoff return. It took the offense a little bit of time uh, to get going. Did you feel the defense really held you in early on? Yeah, I, I think it, uh, you know, last year we opened up a game against St. Francis uh, with a kickoff return for a touchdown. And, you know, we always challenge our guys in special teams as a third of the game. And, you know, we're going to make a positive impact and either score or sell score. That's one of our, our goals for special teams for the game. And, you know, for Chase to be able to provide the spark and set us up in good field position, which, you know, special teams and defense did throughout the game and for the offense to be able to capitalize. I thought the defense played lights out in the first half. I think we got worn down a little bit in the second half, uh, particularly in the run game. But I thought, you know, uh, you know uh, it was good complimentary football. So before the season, you talked about the, the run defense. Yeah. Is it a concern that they were able to get those yards? You chalk a lot of that up just the second half. Guys got tired, maybe. Or? I mean, before before looking at the film, you know, I, the, the numbers bear out that you know we gave up 200 yards rushing, and this kid uh, Dixon did a tremendous job. And he's a good football player, but uh, you know, we were. We wanted to improve our run defense. I think at times we did. Uh, I think there were some things with some gap fits and some missed tackles, just observing it from the field without seeing the film that were issues. But, you know, certainly, um, you know, we're going to have to make a mark improvement against a team like Villanova that, that runs a heck out of football. Mike, can you talk about how you felt out there? Did you feel you were in sync with your receivers throughout the night? You came in and, and looked at the numbers and you seemed to be totally thrilled. But where, did you, where do you put your eye? Uh, Effort out there tonight. Uh, I think the effort was there. I don't think the effort, you know, is, is really ever in, a, in question with this team. Um, it was definitely a little different with the new formations and, and some of the new guys that we had out there, and um, Brian and Tabucky kind of switching spots. But you know, once we kind of figured things out, I think we got rolling a little bit. But um, you know, just going off the numbers, you know, I have a certain standard for myself that you know that I just didn't get to today. So. Um, you know, there's things to clean up on my side and for everybody. So, um, but I think it was a good first step. And I understand last year St. Francis, uh, uh, you know, a similar game, and they rallied back later in the game. Did you feel that, with that in mind, that you never could take your foot off the uh, the, the gas pedal in this one? Yeah, I think so. Um, I think last year we kind of, you know, we kind of took them a little bit lightly. Um, we got up early and we really kind of coasted from there, and, and we went into that fourth quarter, you know, down 20 to 17, I think it was. So, um, you know, we went into this game knowing that they were going to be a tough team, and uh, we really just wanted to keep, you know, keep doing what we do. We didn't want to change up, you know, who we are or what we do based off the score or the time. So, um, you know, I think we did a good job just kind of, you know, playing our style of football throughout the entire game. I think Mike makes a very valid point there. You know, coming the timing of last year's St. Francis game was coming off of the Temple win which was very emotional and, and, and very taxing physically <laughs> and mentally. And uh, we were probably feeling pretty good about ourselves and maybe reading a little bit of our press clippings and taking a five and a half hour bus ride across whatever it was, 80 or the turnpike, whatever way we decided to go. And, um, you know, we, we did play a great game. We came out a little flat and that's not acceptable last year. So, I mean, that's what we've talked about all this week. The NEC has been, you know, a very good conference. I believe uh, Brian beat Stony Brook and unless I'm mistaken, you know, Central Connecticut, uh, had a bit, had a big one today, so that we we just said they're not a team to take lightly. We're going to keep our foot to the excel to the floor, the accelerator to the floor the entire game, and um, you know they're, they're they're certainly a very quality opponent. We just I think we played with with more energy, more effort, more enthusiasm this year than we did last year. Talk a little bit about your defense, and I did seem to do a really good job out there uh, with stopping St. Francis. Uh, was there anything in particular that? Um, they, they were able to see, or your staff was able to see, or we kind of anticipated that they were going to, you know, run the ball because that's their identity, and, and we kept we kept a cap on it for the most part. Uh, you know, you know, like I said, the second half towards the end of the game, you know, we got worn down a little bit, but 
know, we did a great job, number one, defending the pass and, and keeping points off the board. Uh, but, yeah, there are certainly, at times it appeared we got worn down a little bit. And I, I don't think it was much as a schematic thing as, you know, we, we were unable to roll fresh guys. And that's, there's no excuses. I mean, it is what it is. So whoever's out there is expected to play the certain standard. But, you know, we, we've certainly got to, you know, ultimately it's scoring defense and turnovers forced. I mean, that's my barometer for success defensively. It's not about how many yards you let, let up. It's how many times you keep them out of the end zone. So we'll clean up the rush defense. But at the end of the day, if we can hold people to 24 or less, you know, we're going to win a lot of football games. Chase 181 yards in the ground. It's a freshman record. Knowing that um, the team needed someone to step into that role this year, how's that feel for your debut to give that type of performance out there? Yeah, uh, it's a good first step. That's one thing coaches that's always emphasized to us during camp was that the running back position was always the question mark. And I've always been dying my whole career. Fordham happened to be the one school that believed in me. So it was just a good first step. I just want to go out there and prove to everybody and show them what I really am. I think the big thing with Chase that you saw was his performance on the field. When we talked about preparation, you know, from the second he stepped foot on campus here for summer workouts, he's conducted himself like a fifth-year senior. His approach to the game, um, you know, his practice habits, his workout habits, study habits. I mean, he, he treats the game with the respect it deserves, and practices as hard as he plays. So to me, it didn't come as a surprise because you know this this is the way he prepared. We, we talk about. You know, practice habits being game realities, and I pointed him out to the team. It, it, you don't have to be a senior to lead. And, you know, he's he, he doesn't say two words, but the, but he leads by example, and I, I think that's you know his play was indicative of, of of how he's prepared since he's got here. So, a long way to go, a lot to clean up, but it was a good start. Coach, it's only one game, but what did you learn about your team tonight? Uh, that, that, that there were guys that, that we don't make excuses, and, 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 and nor do we accept them. And, and I, thought, I think there were guys, like I said, and I keep harping on this, that Faison Odom, who has not played a pronounced role here and almost played a majority of the game, uh, our two running backs filling in for CJ with graduation, Tabucky playing a position that he normally never plays, Brian playing a position he never plays, Robbie Cantelli, who's a walk-on, stepping in and catching a touchdown pass, Kyle Vaughn, a tackle, uh, Tony Fox, true freshman who started a defensive line, I could go on, Roman Herman, I could go on and on for guys who you know weren't in, necessarily anticipating playing a, a big role in the team this year. And, you know, next man in, and he's going to do. His, they're going to do as good or better of a job than the person they replaced. So, I learned that our team has resolved. What's the mindset going into next week? Villanova gave uh, Syracuse a nice run last night. It's a little early tonight, right now, to be thinking about it. But based off what you saw out there today, uh, well, I think I, I think we're. <laughs> Go ahead. Do you want to take it? Take Go ahead. It. I, I think we're a very confident team. Um, you know, last year going into that Villanova game, I think they they'd come off just you know barely barely losing to Boston College, and um, you know with the with the game yesterday that they had with Syracuse, you know they're a good football team, and, and I don't think it, it was a shock to any of us that that they almost beat and should have beaten Syracuse. So, um, but we're a very confident football team. We know the kind of players we have, and um, you know our mindset going in is that it's going to be it's going to be a battle. Um, we believe that that we can you know come on top just like we did last year, but you know we know that it's going to be a battle, and we're going to have to give. 60 minutes of perfect football to beat. Yeah, I mean they're 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 a tremendous football team, and, and they're very well coached, and they have good players. And you know, I talk about three phases of victory. If we prepare well, we give great effort, and we execute. We will have an opportunity to win the game. If we don't have a great week of practice, we don't play hard, and, and they execute their scheme better than us. I mean, you're talking about two top 15 teams going at each other, which is tremendous to be able to say that now. Uh, it should be a heck of a football game. So. We got to, you know, analyze and dissect the film tomorrow, and you know, make corrections. We got to come out. We have a great practice, uh, and, and have a great week to give ourselves an opportunity. But if we don't prepare well, we have no shot. So that'll be my challenge this week. We know we're good. We know they're good. And, uh, you know, get out there, have a great week, and let the chips fall where they may. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Have a great night.